Hi everyone, this is Imran. Today in this video training, I'm gonna show you how you can easily create a filterable portfolio section in your WordPress website using Elementor Page Builder and Powerfolio Portfolio for Elementor Wizard. So let's see the portfolio section we will create in this video. Here you can see the filterable categories. At the moment, you can see all the portfolio items. And if I click over here on content writing, you can see the two items under content writing. Let's see graphics design. And here you can see another two. If I click over video editing, only one. Web design, web development. And if I click on all, then it will show all the items your portfolio so this is called filterable portfolio and in this training we will create and display this filterable portfolio well I will do this job in four simple steps firstly I will install the plugin secondly I'll add portfolio items using the plugin and thirdly I'll display the portfolio section on the home page or any WordPress page and finally, I will configure the settings of this plugin, Powerfolio. Okay, let's dive in. Well, friends, here I'm on the dashboard of my WordPress website. And here you can see I have already installed Elementor Page Builder, this one. And I'm going to install this plugin, Powerfolio. Okay, so go to plugins and click on add new and here goes the source box i'm going to search for the plugin and here is the expected powerfolio plugin to install this plugin click this button install now and click activate okay skip this part And here is the powerful plugin or add-ons home page. Okay. Here you can see on the left a new menu called Powerfolio Contact Us Support From. Well, another item is here, portfolio. And this is the most important on because we will have to add new item from here. So if you click on here portfolio, and here goes several items. I have added already and here goes the option to add new portfolio just click over here to skip the full screen mode I don't like it okay and here goes portfolio categories okay and these categories will be displayed here so and according the categories, you will be able to filter the portfolio items. So friends, that's all about the basic things. Let's move on to the next step of this video. Add new item to the portfolio plugin. To add new item, I'm going to click on here, add new item. So let's click on it. Like any WordPress blog post, you can easily add item. Here goes the title. So add the title of your portfolio. I'm gonna name it WordPress theme. Okay. And here you will add some description. I'm going to get some description from here. Okay. So on the right here you can see item. And we have nothing to do with permalink. Let's go to the categories. Here you can see add new portfolio category. Just click on it and add new category. Just I'm going to name it themes. And here is the button add new category. Just click on it and the category will be added. Just like adding any category to your WordPress blog post. I'm going to close it. And here goes the featured image. Well friends, let's back to the demo site. And here you can see the images and you will have to add image from here 
just I'm going to click on it and here goes the media library let's see the media library and I have already added a lots of images if you don't have any image just go to upload files and select any image from your hard disk once you have selected the image you can add all text you can change the title caption description anything when you are happy just click over this button set featured image and most interestingly you can add image from pixabay one of the most popular free stock images site in this world i always download image from pixabay for my project so let's back to the media library and here you can see set featured image button just click on it and here goes extra setting we have nothing to do with that okay and friends here you can see the publish button if you click on here click on here and here you can see post published view you can view the item okay let's get back to the portfolio and here you can see the new portfolio item okay so i have successfully completed step number two i have already installed the plugin i have added portfolio item to the plugin now let's display the portfolio items on any wordpress page using elementor page builder and if you don't know how to install elementor page builder nothing to be worried about go to youtube and search how to install elementary in wordpress and you will see my video over here and here is a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install elementor page builder you will just see this video on the i icon or you will find this video link in the description watching this video i hope you will be able to install it okay and if you know already then don't be bored okay so what i'm going to do i'm going to all the pages here you can see all the pages of my site you can add this portfolio item on any existing page or any new page i'm going to use on the existing page on my home page here you can see edit with elementor or you can view the page i'm going to view the page and as I am locked in, here you can see edit with Elementor. Just click on it. And friends, you should decide where to display in your website. Say for example, I would like to display uh, just here. Okay. And if I hover over here, you can see add section button. Just click on it. And here you can see add section. Let's create a uh, on column row. Here goes on column row and if I click on the plus sign and again here goes all the list of the widgets I'm going to search for portfolio and here goes the elementor portfolio just grab and drag and drop here and it creates automatically very fantastic that's all we have just displayed the portfolio on our website if I click over here hit update and now if I click on this button to preview here goes the portfolio of our website now click on content writing click on graphics design video editing web design web development and all if I click on here it goes to the next page but on the demo side it shows in light box okay so let's see the step 4 customize or configure the settings from here okay here you can see edit elementor portfolio and under it it has three types of settings content related setting options and style and advanced let's start with the content under content here goes portfolio settings you can see uh, number of projects to show by default you can show 12 items but you can display as many as you want 
okay and show category filter here goes the category filter if you don't like to show that just select no and it will be disappeared I'm gonna show it so set yes and here goes all and you can change the text I'm gonna try it all projects great all projects and use item margin here goes margin you can use margin or you can remove the margin okay and here you can see grid style it is boxed but you can select masonry okay and here goes the number of columns at the moment here you can see one column two column three columns but if you have a lots of items then you can increase the number of column to four columns but if you have just a few items then i suggest to set three or four four if you select four the images get smaller okay i like three column and how about style here you can see the default on but you can select from bottom from bottom from up okay and each project linked to here you can see i talked about the light box so if you want the light box what you will have to do just from here select featured image into light box this is the end of portfolio settings so what i will have to do simply click on the update button okay click update and it's updated okay that's fine so friends now let's move on to style setting with the free version you will get few setting options just you can change the background just from here you can add background image and background color i don't think to add any background color over here but i'm going to show you how you can do that okay background color here goes it okay this color okay item background color but i can make it transparent okay let's make it transparent just uh, move to the left to make it transparent that's fine okay and click on here on portfolio and it is available in the pro version and go to the right if you would like to add margin add padding then just play with the setting options that are these are pretty simple once again i'm gonna click update so friends i hope by this time you could easily install the plugin you could add the portfolio items you could just display and configure the setting options if you faced any issue doing this job you can let me know in the comment box when i see any new comment i feel pleasured so don't forget to comment hit the subscribe button and share your ideas with me so that's all for today thank you for watching i would like to see you again in a new video thank you